when it comes to the recovery times for back pain, there's two real sort of positions that you fall in. Number one is that it resolves within a couple of days and you're fine. Number two is that after 10 to 14 days and it's still not recovering, there's something more complex going on. Now, a lot of patients will get back pain from time to time, a bit of discomfort after the gym, something like that, recovers in a day or so. Absolutely no problem. And you probably won't even be watching this video if that was you. The other variation is that we've got repetitive back pain. It's taking longer than 10 to 14 days to actually get any relief or it's getting worse. And this, in this case, there's something more complex going on and it's understanding what that is that dictates the recovery time. Now here at the clinic, we go into tons of detail on how we do that. And you can learn more about that on our new patients page in particular, but that allows us to get to the bottom of the problem quickly. But invariably, there's gonna be some sort of issue that's preventing that back pain from recovering. You have to remember that in the case of back pain, it's a load bearing structure and you're walking around all day. And if it's not able to heal because you're walking around all day on it and you're re-aggravating something, it's probably a little bit more complex than just a minor injury. Now that's, the, the, please don't get confused by that and think, oh, well, I should just lie on the floor or lie in bed all day because that's gonna create its own challenges. You're not gonna have the muscle support if you're doing that as a coping strategy because your muscles will start to waste away and then they don't provide the stability for your spine and then you're more vulnerable for re-injury. So a lot of these things need to be considered, but fundamentally, if it's going on for 10 to 14 days or more and not getting better, then you need to see someone who's gonna look at your back properly, not just press it in a few areas and go, yeah, take some painkillers or whatever. You need a full uh, consultation to actually understand your back, understand why it's not getting better. What are you doing on a daily basis? What aren't you doing on a daily basis that you should be doing? Are you doing any sort of physical exercise at all to keep your back healthy? Is your diet good? Do you sleep appropriate? Um, what is your posture like? Is that, a, is that a limiting factor in your recovery? What's your spinal alignment like? Are you walking around, instead of having a nice smooth curve through the lower back, which has good suspension, have you been sat at the desk for the last three to five years or longer, slouched, causing that curve to slowly reduce, and therefore you've got constant day in, day out excess pressure going through those discs in the lumbar spine, which is why they've started to become problematic and non-resolving. Understanding this allows you to be specific in terms of how long it's gonna take you back to get better. But in short, once we've understood those factors and providing there's nothing too terrible going on, generally speaking, in the course of two or three weeks with treatment and some simple stuff at home, we can get patients to be feeling a lot better and returning back to those normal sorts of day in day out activities. And then going through and getting things stronger through rehabilitation outside of the clinic in conjunction with less frequent treatment, you can really get a lasting effect that deals with all the fundamental challenges that your spine faces, that protects against those and that actually gets the initial injury uh, healing nicely so that your body's essentially back good as new and return to normal day-to-day -day activities. So it can take a little bit longer than a day or two and if it's going on for longer than 10 to 14 days, get some proper advice, see someone who's gonna look at you properly and if you wanna know what that looks like, then have a look on the rest of our website, particularly that new patients page and get in contact with us using any of the contact modalities on the website to get your back better and get a fundamental understanding of how long it's gonna take your back to get better today.